Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Quantum Mechanics Mini Masters figure of Inara from Firefly. I like the pose that they're using for the sculpt of this figure. It's fairly simple. I mean, she's not like in an action pose, she's not like holding a gun or anything, but it sure beats her just having her like arms down at her side. Like, she's kind of playing with her hair, she's got the, the other hand kind of draping, she's looking over, like her head is looking to the left, her eyes are looking to the left. Is it kind of flirty? Is it kind of knowing? You know, it, it certainly suits the character as far as the way they did it. I love the way the, uh, the fabric is kind of draping onto the base like her dress. I like the way it wrinkles. It's a really strong sculpt. Uh, it reads well. I like the colors, especially like the little kind of flowery, kind of hearty design that's going along uh, below the waist. But the way the fabric, tie, the way it wrinkles and that little tie that goes around it, considering how little this is, it's pretty good sculpting. Uh, also, the necklace around her neck looks really good. Let me see if I can go in for a closer look there. Um, just because it's got such a good sculpt, considering how, how little it is. Yeah, that's really strong work. And the, and the paint going around her neck doesn't bleed anywhere. That's nice. The paint along the edge of her shoulders going down like her bust is all really clean. Uh, the shoulder kind of being exposed looks good, too. Again, I like the pose of the hands quite a bit, playing with the hair. I like the sculpt of the hair a lot. You can see there's two tones of brown going on there. So that's really effective. Uh, where it kind of loses me is the face. One, her eyes are a little wonky. Her right eyes is a little too dark or heavy, or her left eye is a little too light. Either way, the eyes don't really line up. Eyebrow paint's pretty good. The lip paint is good. But, you know, look, these are, these are all stylized. They're kind of cartoony, kind of stylized, but they at least capture the essence of the characters so far. This is, this is the first time where I've seen one where I go, eh, that doesn't really seem like an aura. Doesn't really uh, feel like even like a cartoonish version of the actress. Like, these cheeks, just the chin, like, none of it really feels like the character. I just, I don't really, I mean, it looks neat, it looks fine, uh, you know, at least f I turn it in this angle, reads a little bit better. Also, you can see the little space here where the hair is supposed to be kind of connecting into the the sculpted head a little bit more, so there's a kind of a little disconnect there, a little gap that bugs me. The sculpt of the hair is really good, I just don't really see Inara's personality or the actress's likeness in here, even in an exaggerated form. But still, from further away, you get that it's Inara, and I do like the pose. I get more Inara from the pose than I do from the face. But this is still a cool looking statue that I dig. I really like the pose and the, the, the sculpt and the colors used. It's a very pleasing, colorful little statue. I like it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that stuff. Here are the links!